You know, the holidays usually mean it's time for a family feast. I'm sure you would all agree with me with recipe favorites that have been passed down from generation to generation. But sometimes I like to change it up a little bit, looking for new recipes to add to the menu, especially, especially when it comes to dessert. Ooh la la. This morning, we're joined once again by my favorite celebrity chef, Sarah Moulton, who is here to introduce ways for the everyday gourmet to put a twist on some holiday favorites. And also Jackie Walker, fourth generation owner and great granddaughter of Joseph Walker, the founder founder of Walker Shortbreads. Good morning. Hello. Mwah. Welcome back. Mm. Happy holidays to you. Morning. I'm so glad you both are here because I got to tell you, I love the holidays. You guys? Yeah. Oh my God. Definitely. Of course. And look what you brought here. All these wonderful treats. And I got to tell you, this is scrumptious, Sarah. Oh, it's just, and I just love it because we're using these cookies. They make your life so easy. You don't even have to be a baker and you look like a genius. Exactly. And everybody is waiting for that dessert at the end of the day, right? That's right. So, Jackie, tell me about these Walker shortbreads. I mean, they really do play off great for the holidays and for dessert. Yeah, definitely. In Scotland, shortbread are eaten all year round, but particularly popular at Christmas time. So here we're showcasing our festive range, and it's really easy and simple to make great desserts for holidays. And something that I know my girls love, and I know your kids did too. Do you have children, Jackie? Nope. Okay, well, she's when you become young. a... She's too young. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes us old. But yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're going to see when you become a mom, my girls love to decorate. help me in the kitchen. And decorate. What fun can we have with these? Well, this is what I love about this is you've already got the shapes, and they've yeah. already got like little indentations and raised areas that help you to decorate. So you make your frosting, you color it. You said you used to do this as a kid. We did, yeah, all the and time. And then you just fill in, you know, you can just either follow the, the edges, or you can go to the dots, or you can do whatever you want. How and then you fabulous. just sprinkle all the sprinkles on. And I'm telling you, you could go on with this forever, but the cookies make it so easy for you because of all the indents. <gasps> so, and, and so the cookies. It's cooking for dummies. It's <laughs> cooking for dummies, but you're starting with a really good cookie. It's got four ingredients, butter, sugar, flour, and a tiny bit of salt. of salt. So they're really pure. Oh. So you can feel good about it. My girls would love the Santa. Yes. That is too much. Now let me ask you this, Sarah. What if you want to make something maybe a little bit more non-traditional? Okay. Well, we, we have these uh, sandwich cookies, and I've got several different fillings. Okay. So we've got a chocolate ganache, and we've got all mm. the recipes on the a website. A chocolate what? Ganache. Ganache. Which is a French word, uh, which is nothing more than dark chocolate and heavy cream oh. really easy then we have lemon curd which is real big in the UK okay. and we have recipes for all of this but you could also buy the lemon curd don't oh. tell anybody oh. and the third one is melted marshmallow <gasps> you just take your marshmallow you put it under the broiler when it's melted you sandwich it oh my oh. god put a little Nutella in there yum amazing but I've sandwiched one here with some ganache chocolate ganache and then I'm putting it in crushed peppermint and another thing you could do you could use any nuts you want too. Uh, with a lemon curd I use pistachio which we've got right here for a little bit of a green color because it's Christmas. Yeah, that? and that's just a talking point when you see it. That is absolutely. Now, what do we have here? Okay, this is a mincemeat tart. Do you know what that is? A what? A mincemeat tart. Now, very again. Meat for dessert? No, 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 no. Well, actually, these have been around for years. In, in again, in the UK. Um, in the 16th century, they included meat, but they don't anymore, but they didn't lose the title. What they have inside right now, which are all the yummy stuff you want to have, they have golden raisins and citrus that's been candied and apples <gasps> and all those wonderful yummy Christmas spices and a buttery crust, and you can either eat it straight up with coffee or tea, okay. or you can heat them and then put on, we have here some ice cream, look at how that's yummy melting on the hot mincemeat tart or something called hard sauce, which actually my grandma used to make. We've got it over here, which is nothing more than butter, confectioner sugar, and brandy. I'm sorry, and what? Brandy. Ooh, it's five o'clock somewhere. And it's so yummy. You see what it looks like inside? And this is just a great, this is a perfect little dessert, so you don't have to make dessert. Having these cookies in-house means you don't have to make a dessert. From scratch, you just embellish. I love it. And I got to tell you, and I'll be completely honest, my grandmother, who lived to be 96 years old, she would always bring home these cookies. And I know you've got a great story also with your family because you are a part of the family. Tell me about it. Yeah, um, it was founded by my great-grandfather in 1898 in the north of Scotland, and I'm part of the fourth generation of the Walkers family. Mm -hmm. um, still, and we're still making all family-owned, making all the shortbread up in Scotland. I love it. And I know all these recipes are online, and I know you guys have many, many more to offer. Where can our viewers go if they want to make these, and who knows how much more? Yeah, all the recipes are available on us.walkershortbread.com. Okay. And many, many more recipes too. Okay. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. Yes, Thanks. Yes, you too, my here. friend. Happy holidays. Yes, there she we got go. distracted there. I did. I was. I was like, what are we gonna eat? Come on. <laughs> All right. Look. Let's just give Those you guys. Those are so cute. You Those are, are the my mini stars, stars for the morning. Here stars. you go. Mini shortbread stars. Little stars. 
Happy holidays, oh, Merry holiday. Christmas, and everything. Thank you, ladies. Mm, so good. And for more information on today's recipes using Walker shortbreads, just visit our website. It's thebalancingact.com, thebalancingact.com. Enjoy it. It's scrumptious. Yummy? Mm, so mm. good. Mm.